Good morning, and welcome back to episode 30 of Dare Boldly, No Matter Your Age. So we're coming to the end of the week of resilience. And last night I was thinking about what does this, you know, what have I learned this week? Well, one of the things I've really realized or learned is that resilience does need to be fed. And it needs to be fed healthy foods, just like my body needs to be fed healthy foods and exercise. And when I don't pay attention to the things my body needs, then I'm not building resilience. I'm not building good health. I'm not building good thoughts. When I feed my, my body thoughts of disdain and non-encouragement, I am undermining my body's inherent ability to move me through this world with grace and ease. And moving through this world with grace and ease is so much better than struggle and strife. So the thing I've learned most is that I need to be conscious of and pay attention to how and what I do with and for my body. And in that way, when I do things that nurture and love and care for myself, I build resilience. So it's been a great week that way because I have learned so much. It's, it's yeah, I've learned a lot this week. So thank you for being part of this journey. Thank you for your comments and shares because your inspiration inspires me. Next week, we're going to tackle a subject that, well, I have a, a lot of unconscious bias around, and that's dreams, dreaming. And do we stop dreaming as we age? Do we have to? Why do some people seem to stop dreaming as they age? We'll be exploring aging and dreaming on week seven of Dare Boldly, No Matter Your Age. Thanks again for being here, and please do come on over to the blog, dareboldly.com.